All right, Max, Monaco, qualifying day. We don't know what the weather's gonna be tomorrow. How'd you feel? So far, my weekend has been a bit tough. I need a little bit of chaos. But let's see what the weather will do, first right. of all. Monaco is known on Sunday, it's hard to pass, but that's why I'm hoping for a little bit of rain, because that normally makes it a, a bit more entertaining. Right, so you're working on two strategies then for tomorrow, whether the weather comes in or not, Yeah. and then what you have today. Exactly. So you live here. How important is this race to you? Everyone wants to win Monaco, so sure. to do this every single year, you, you know, you need to have a really good car and a bit of luck in some places as well to be able to put it on pole and, and, and win the race uh, many times, but um, it's it's insane with an F1 car to drive around here. Yeah, I just did a hot lap in a Porsche and it was just unbelievable. My appreciation for just the focus it takes to get around here, the visualization constantly. You've come up together, all of you guys, and now you're here, you're living the dream. How much fun are you guys having out there racing? It's cool to see, you know, when we were all little kids racing each other hard because we all had this goal of trying to get to Formula One. We have a great relationship and we, we can really appreciate when someone does well and so far a really nice uh, generation to, to be part of. You won the championship last year, you get out of the car and there's your dad. And you have a beautiful moment together. How special was that? Yeah, that was uh, an amazing moment. Also, you know, up until I was 16 years old, I did everything together with my dad. I don't know how many hours we did all over Europe. Right. When you have that moment, you look each other in the eyes and you don't need to say anything, but everything flashes back and, and you really realize like we've done it.